Welcome to the 2016 extended part of the SAS course. I wanted to add this part in here because I want to show that I am listening to you. And many people have said that, yes, you've shown us the basic syntax of SAS, but you haven't shown us how to apply those advanced features and that syntax in a real world project. So I think it's only fair that I adapt this course to answer you by showing you real world examples. But also there are things that I have missed prior to this extended part of the course, such as SAS source maps. I really underestimated the feature, but the feature is very useful and I can use it in my daily life to make my life much, much simpler. So in lieu of that fact, this extended part of the course is really going to give you an extension on your SAS skills and adapting yourself to the new SAS workflow. Now, I always recommend that a web developer learns the terminal. Newer technologies like Node.js and so forth require understanding of the terminal. So the sooner you learn the terminal, the better. But in a production environment, it's not always beneficial. So in lieu of that fact, what we want to do is take a look at a free open source application for Windows, Linux, a Mac. This application, Koala, allows you to compile Less, SAS, Compass, and CoffeeScript. So it is a very nice application, and we can go ahead and we can use this app for free on any one of those operating systems. So let's go ahead and download the Koala app for Mac OS X, and you want to hit the download link right up the top. Once the app has finished downloading, go ahead and grab the application and drag and drop it into your applications directory. Now the application isn't signed with an Apple certificate. So if you just try and open this up in a general way by double clicking, you will get an error message and you won't be able to open the application. So what you need to do is right click on the application and say open. This way you will get an error dialog, but what will happen is this dialog will let you open up the application and eventually the Koala app will open up. So the Koala app is a very nice application and what it's asking you to do is drag and drop a folder or project. So if I take a look at my folder, my directory right here, it contains the example.scss file. Now all I need to do is drag the directory over the Koala app and you'll notice that here is my file right here, example.scss and it will produce the CSS file. Now notice the directory. It instantly compiled the SCSS file. It gave me a source map file and it also gave me the produced CSS file. You can also refresh the directory if you add in any new SAS files, less files, CoffeeScript files, and so forth. So this is a really nice application. Now, if you click on a particular file, whether it be SCSS and so forth, what you can do is you can take a look at the options for compiling that file. First of all, you have auto compile. This is the same as setting watch in the command line. So you're gonna watch for changes and every time you save a change to this file, it will automatically produce a new CSS file. Likewise, you have some options such as compass mode. So if you're gonna use SAS compass, which compass is just a load of little libraries, source map, which is the source map that links the CSS to the SAS or SCSS file. Then also you have the ability to take out line comments or enable line comments. You can also tell it to produce debug info. You can also ask it to use Unix new line carriage returns if you want to. And also you can say auto prefix as well. Finally, you can set the output style. So again, I can have nested, expanded, compact, and compressed. For production, go with compressed, but as we're not in production, I'll go with expanded so we can see all of the CSS being generated. Now, if you were not auto watching the file and compiling it, then what you can do is you can select the file and tell it to compile like so. But I do want to watch the file, so I will click on that particular file and I'll tell it to watch. 
and you can go ahead and select on particular files and again you can say auto compile combine imports timestamp the CSS file auto prefix and you can also choose the output styles of the CSS file so this is a very powerful free open source application for Windows Linux and Mac OS X so please feel free to download it and use it and I'm sure you'll find it an invaluable tool in your web development career